COVID-19 pandemic caused the biggest shock to the global economy in living memory. It has led to human loss around the world and created hardship for people everywhere. The impact of the pandemic has also resulted in an unprecedented oil demand shock. In response, OPEC and other Declaration of Cooperation countries took bold and decisive action to help balance and stabilize markets by committing to the largest and longest ever oil production adjustments. Today, the economy is recovering. Oil markets are on track to stabilize, while further normalization is expected over the next couple of years. After the huge 2020 shock, oil demand will grow again and rise steadily in the medium term. As long-term growth slows, oil demand will plateau around 109 million barrels per day in the second half of the forecast period. Alongside the declaration of cooperation adjustments, economics forced the shut-in of large volumes in other oil-producing countries. However, non-OPEC supply will grow again in 2021 and pick up momentum in the following years, mostly driven by US tight oil and Brazil. Looking further ahead, non-OPEC supply will decline again after US tight oil peaks around 2030, while OPEC liquids will need to fill the gap. The downstream sector has come under enormous pressure due to declining demand. This will likely force a wave of refinery closures, even as new capacity comes online in the Asia-Pacific, Middle East and Africa. Traded volumes of oil are expected to grow only modestly in the long term. However, the Middle East's share of global crude and condensate trade will rise robustly during the second part of the forecast period. To ensure oil demand is met and that oil markets are reliably supplied, total long-term investments in oil will need to be $12.6 trillion. The long-term energy outlook was already uncertain before the COVID-19 pandemic and is now even more difficult to foresee. Despite the uncertainties, some things are clear. Firstly, the expectations for continued population and economic growth mean the world will need significantly more energy in the long term. Secondly, more energy will be needed to reduce energy poverty and help achieve the UN's sustainable development goals. OPEC and its member countries are committed to increasing energy access, thus contributing to a more inclusive and resilient world. And finally, it is clear that all sources of energy will be needed to support the post-pandemic recovery and to address future energy needs. Despite faster growth in renewables and gas, oil will retain its number one position in the energy mix for years to come. With an eye on the future, OPEC is committed to the aims of the Paris Agreement and fully supportive of economic recovery and sustainable development. Complex problems require comprehensive solutions. With international cooperation, the oil industry, which possesses critical resources and expertise, can help unlock our carbon-free future. Drawing on its 60 years of experience, OPEC remains committed to providing a stable and secure supply of oil, working with stakeholders everywhere to support a sustainable and inclusive energy future.